Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. Today is July 3rd. And first and foremost, I want to uh, say happy 4th of July to everyone. I hope they have a great weekend. Oh, just so everybody knows, we are closed, General RV, we are closed this weekend uh, for the 4th of July holiday. So make sure you don't come in this weekend to see me. And P.S., you should call ahead of time to schedule an appointment and if you did you would know that we're closed this weekend so um so that's that something really exciting that i want to go over today uh andrea and i we have made the decision that we are buying a motorhome for ourselves you know uh i'm going to be doing a lot of traveling for work traveling to jacksonville ocala and tampa and i just think it would make our life so much easier and it would make it would make the channel so much better if I owned an RV myself because I could make more videos and everything and I thought it'd be a good idea and we have it down to two selections I think I know which one we're gonna get but I want to hear your opinion of which one you think we would get and the first thing we had to decide was are we getting a class A or a class C okay 100% not getting a class B. Can tell you that right now. But um, Andre and I, you know, I really like the class A's. Whenever we go on vacation, we get a class A. But I thought, you know what? I'm gonna be putting a lot of miles on this thing. I'm gonna be doing a lot of driving and everything. So I want a class C. You know, primarily it's gonna be used for me and Andrea. Andrea's daughters aren't gonna be coming with us a lot. The dog isn't gonna be coming with us a lot. It's gonna be used a lot for business purposes. And you know, when I go to RV shows, um, instead of me getting a hotel, I'm gonna be in the motorhome. So I thought I want something small and I want a class C and I have it narrowed down to two class C's uh, and I really wanna hear your opinion. So without further ado, the very first option that we're thinking about getting is, well, hang on. No matter what, we're getting an Integra Odyssey Class C. Uh, that's just my personal favorite brand. Everybody knows that. There's nothing wrong with these other brands, nothing wrong with Winnebago or Thor or Coachman or whatever. It's just me personally, you guys hear me say it on all my videos, I'm just a huge fan of the Integra Odyssey, so much of a fan that I'm gonna buy one myself. Oh, by the way, we just got a 29V in uh, literally today, so if you're interested in an Odyssey, please send me an email because they won't last long. But this one here is a 24B and here's what we're looking at. And you guys, I just came out with a video the other day on the 24B and you know, I really like it. And, and here's, here's, listen, this is coming from an RV salesman. Here's what I was looking for when I'm, when Andre and I are considering a purchase. Um, so the biggest thing to me, I'm gonna be using this for work, and this right here. Well, one, prime pooping position, which you guys know, the 24B does not have a prime pooping position, but that's not as important to me as having a big shower. This model and the other model I'm considering, what has a 30 by 36 shower, all the other Integra Odysseys have a 30 by, or um, a 24 by 36 shower. And those six inches to me make a big difference. But here's the layout. And it's so funny, right? Because, you know, this one has the fold up bed and that's a big flaw for this floor plan. Um, but it's something that we could live with because of the length and everything. And what I really love about this floor plan is this U-shaped dinette. If the other floor plan we looked at had this U-shaped dinette, we'd, we would, it would be no questions asked. But I love this U-shaped dinette, and it's not in the other floor plan. But if you haven't figured out what the other floor plan is, let's go take a look. Now, believe it or not, I know many of you are probably thinking, it's probably this 29V right here, right next to it. And that would be smart, but um, it's not the 29V. And here's why. And then you guys are probably gonna be like, well, Matt, 
You said your favorite Odyssey is the 29V. Why won't you buy it? Well, my favorite Odyssey, my favorite Odyssey is the 29V. Uh, the thing is, if we were buying it to go on vacation, that would be the one that we would buy. It's again, we're using this for work. I'm gonna be putting hundreds and hundreds, thousands of miles on it every every month. Well, hundreds of miles every month, maybe thousands, yeah, because again, we're ramping up my YouTube channel and I'm gonna be traveling a lot to Jacksonville and Tampa to make more YouTube videos, right? And then not only that, when we go up to Virginia and all that, I don't need to get a plane ticket. I'll be I'll be fine in the motorhome and I'll be able to drive the motorhome and you know actually camp at the uh the fairgrounds or whatever that the uh, RV shows on which would be pretty cool like I 100% I cannot wait for the Tampa show because the Tampa show if you guys don't know people bring their motorhomes and they camp out for the whole week and listen the Tampa show such long days and nothing's going to be better than just to walk from the the show to my camper that's going to be awesome also another reason why we're thinking about buying an rv we're not thinking about we are buying well listen we're buying it um another reason behind our madness is because what's going on in the rv industry right now if you guys don't know we're out of inventory guys like if you guys see this like we're just we're just so scarce on inventory and these odysseys um they come in and they they literally sell like like this week i've sold a 24b a 25r 26d and i just sold today a 29v right they, they just sell so fast uh because the market's so hot and so another part of my madness is is if i always have an odyssey on me that i'm driving as my vehicle i can um i can sell off of that odyssey you know people can test drive it and everything and you know see the interior layouts and i can sell i'm, I'm telling you i can sell rvs off of it but this is the other one the odyssey 25r which i just sold this one to uh some youtube subscribers the other day and they're picking up wednesday they're probably watching this video howdy um I don't want to know if I should say their name. How, howdy, Kimberly and family. I'll say that. Um, but yeah, they, they watch every single one of my videos. They were quoting me. And yeah, so this is the 25R. And okay, so you ready for this? Corner bed. But Matt, you hate corner beds. I do hate corner beds. Again, if it was me and the family, right? There's... You know, this is th this is all one layout. And so if, if I was bringing Andrea's three daughters, I probably wouldn't get this floor plane, but they're not coming with us. It's just gonna be half the time, it's just gonna be me where this is perfect. Or the other half time, it's gonna be me and Andrea and I don't wake up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. And if I do, you know, this is at least cut out enough. But when we look at the bathroom, look at that y'all. That's a prime pooping position. And then look at that shower. It's, dude, I'm telling you, cause I'm gonna be using this for RV shows. So to have a 30 by 36 shower is very, very important to me, right? Not only that, even though this is a corner bed, it's still 60 by 80, I measured it. But look at this, we have the sofa there directly across from the TV. And then again, this is my only holdup. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the dinette. I have already looked into things how I can change it I don't think I can but if I can I will try to just because you know I mean I know I'm on a diet but still it's just tight if I can what I want to do if I can eliminate that seat and kind of move this over I would do that just to kind of make like a workstation area actually I wouldn't do that I would move eliminate this seat and move it that way so I could still see the TV. But everything else about this motorhome, it's very awesome and nice. And and not only that, there's, well, let me show you. As you guys know, if you saw the video, Mr. Schofield bought one like this. 
and he ordered it. It was a custom order for him. And what's so great about this one is this one has an outdoor kitchen, which is awesome. I love that. But not only that, what I'm in talks with is I'm going to get like, like a tent, like a Matt's RV Reviews tent to put up at RV shows so people can find me. And the fold up tent and everything, look at that fits perfectly back there because so what i was thinking about before was taking out the outside kitchen but when i saw that i'm like oh my god that's going to be great for everything that i need for an rv show brochures tents fold-up chairs because um you know i know general has plans for me to travel to a lot of these rv shows so i can meet everybody and say hi and it'll be pretty cool so yeah that's it it's toss between those two uh let us know what you think um i know we have some already on order on the way one's a 25r and one's a 41 or a 24b so i know which one i want to get leave down in the comments below let me know which one you think we should get or if you think it's a bad idea let me know down in the comments below i'm a knucklehead so i probably won't change my mind but I love to hear what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching. Again, everybody, please have a happy 4th of July. Stay safe. Also, um, if you guys remember Sandy, uh, she bought she bought the Integra Esteem 29V. And she made a, she put a post on, hi Sandy. She put a post on Facebook. Um, make sure if you got, and she's a dog person. Make sure if you guys have dogs this 4th of July, keep them safe stay with them because the fireworks hurt their ears and it really scares the crap out of them so um make sure you take care of your pets and everything and uh we'll see you tomorrow where andre and i are reviewing a coachman cross track have a great fourth of july thanks so much everyone we'll see you next time